right, this is a public hearing by the Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Granby, representing the Board of Bill Percival, Bob Lindeyer, and Primmons, Wayne Chapel, Judy Goff. Will the Secretary please read the legal notice of the meeting? There will be a public hearing conducted by the Zoning Board of Appeals on Tuesday, January 15th, 2019 at 7 o'clock p.m. at Granby Town Hall, Meeting Room, 15 North Granby Road, to hear the following item. Appeal by Chris Malio, seeking a side yard variance to Section 5.1 and 8.1.3.2 of the Zoning Regulations to allow construction for a garage for property located at 310 Salmon Brook Street, file Z01-19-01. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and written communications will be received. A copy of the appeal is on file in the office of the Director of Community Development, Granby Town Hall. Okay, you have the minutes of the last meeting, and are there any additions or corrections to those minutes? Move to approve. Second. Okay. Third. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, five to nothing. All right, here is how we operate. First, I ask that if you have any cell phones or pagers, please put them on vibrate or airplane or whatever. We hear the appeals in the order of the legal notice. You, as an applicant, explain the application to the board, introducing any exhibits you feel will help us make a fair decision. Speakers, <coughs> pardon me. Speakers can speak on behalf. Speakers can speak in opposition. The applicant may rebut the opposition. We, as board members, will, of course, ask questions. Speakers will please give their name and address before speaking at the podium. And when we reach a decision, you will be notified by certified mail, usually within 10 days. Granting of a variance or appeal requires a yes vote of four members. If we grant your variance, be sure to record it with the town clerk within 90 days. So we have one applicant. Is the applicant here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the microphone necessary? No. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Chris Melillo, and first of all, thank you for taking the time to meet me. Um, I am here to uh, submit a request to come within uh, six feet of the property line. Uh, basically, what I'm asking for is no different than the exact request that was granted back in 1986. Does, does, I brought copies of that. Does everyone have the copies? of the um, no. approval back in 1986. No, I, I didn't see one. Okay, this I got from the town documents. And you can see that um, I'm reading that because of the topography of the land, the location of the septic system, and it's a weird piece of property in that it has an easement that goes through the center. Uh, it's a driveway that goes to the rear property. So it kind of handcuffs you. In, uh, in building, uh, what I want to do is put up a garage uh, to put my stuff in so it, it doesn't look so disarray. And my challenge is that's a bigger piece of property that's divided by the, um, the driveway, but the other side, the topography, it's just a very, it's just not good. And uh, I have met with my neighbors here, Harry and Sally. And from what I know, their concerns are, number one, um, they were talking about some kind of rule in the town that if they wanted to change the use of their property, that if I had a building too close to the line, that, that would stop them from doing it. I researched that a little bit. I don't know of that rule. And I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I just don't know that anything I do on my property would affect yours. Their second concern, and it was very congenial meeting, uh, no arguing or anything, is Sally had a concern that if I build a garage there, that I would store stuff there and they'd have to be looking at my junk. And that's a very valid concern, but I got thinking about that. The closer I am to the line, the less junk I can have on the side of the property. If I was 20 feet off, 
then I'd have 20 feet of junk potentially as opposed to six feet. So I'm just trying to address their concerns and I'm not gonna have anything on that side anyway because my whole reason for building the garage is to get my stuff inside it. I'm a local contractor, remodeler, that I just have a lot of stuff that I don't want outside just in the weather. And that's kind of it. And you can see that back in 1986, it's the same. Nothing has changed since then. The topography is the same. The septic system's in the same spot. Um, the only thing that has changed to the property is I, I know the well no longer comes into effect because I did connect to the city water. And the, the septic is working? The, after some repair, yes. So I know exactly okay, so where it is after digging it up, yes. Okay. And the, the area to the south of your house is the area, that, the, the hardship there. That's the hardship area, yes. Because of topography. I'm sorry? Because of top, the, the, the top. The topography and the, e, there's an easement for the drive and an easement for the electric that goes to the rear property. Is, is there a way to show that dimensionally yeah. on the, we have this map. Can I take a look? Yes, please. There, there is so I think this is your property yes. and this is the rear lot. Okay. So could you shot on there where you think the right of way is? I know exactly where it is. It goes right there. Okay. And then their driveway bends around looks like this. It's a really odd shaped property, but it goes right here. Okay. And this is a paved piece right now? No, it's only paved right here. Yeah, and that's okay. I mean, we're in wintertime and you guys work full time and you volunteer. So, but I did bring some pictures of this area if, if you and this care. This is where you're see. proposing? I'm proposing right here. Okay. My septic system is right here. Yeah. That's why I need the variance to slide it away from this. Sorry, where did you issue. say the septic is? This is yeah, this was looking elsewhere. It's right here. Ah, okay. This is the patchwork okay. schoolhouse. We're selling here. Oh, I see. It's like it's labeled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Wait. Do you have over here just for my... I actually don't do that. Oh, no, uh, do you have this map? Except yeah, my dog that's on the way. That's yeah. on that. Yeah, and it's yeah. Also yeah. yeah. that shows the easement. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it does show the easement. Oh, yeah, where yeah. is the easement? I didn't, I don't It should be on the last page. Yeah, I'm seeing it, but where is it? Oh, it's on the south side. Right? side. But that's not the easement he said. He says it's coming from the Is this all? He said there's one down the center. So it goes all the way over to here? Sure. I'm not certain. Like this. Can I ask a question about that? Sure. So this is your property here? Yes. Okay. And is this the easement? The sorry, easement goes, well, there's actually, if you look deeper, there's an aggregate one easement one of here. here. Okay. 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 So the one yeah. that's in effect right now it's goes the, uh, out like this. Um, and it is the property you're talking about it goes to? So, so, so this is her so driveway? This is high yeah. You know what? Uh, David Renee's restaurant down the road on Route 20? That's, uh, yeah. that's them. I don't even know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. David oh, okay. And then you can, there's an existing uh, concrete so, path right here. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm wondering. What is what that? Did about that? Where did that come from? I guess from? he's going to need a variance. Was that, that there? That was existing. No okay. Room, and then I'm guessing he was going to build off of that by the approval. I mean, I'd like to hear about yeah. the file. Yeah. 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 Do you know why he never did? Oh, it does. Actually, Aaron, he seems to know a lot about everything that goes on. Okay. Now, you said that was the... You think that might have been the first variance was for that pad? Oh, yeah. I don't know if any legal things that the pad has. All I know is what's in the file from 1986. It was approved to build a two-car garage six feet off the property line. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you need one through. because you're farther back. No, I went to the town and they said, and I said, well, wait a minute, it's already existing. Why can't I just use it mm -hmm. to be grandfathered? And they, and they told me to basically yeah. come here to be safe. Well, well, well not only that, you're a new owner. Well, the other thing, too, is that if the variants were granted for that slab area, it wouldn't apply to where you are now because you're east of that, right? Yes. I'm going behind it. Okay. And from your back line, how much 
space do you have? I got about 30 feet. Yeah, it looks like it. About yeah. or well, exactly. usually 25. Let me back up. Okay. Um, I have not, and if this gets approved, I'm going to pay a surveyor to go out there so I know some exacts. I've tried to locate the property pins, which I can't, but I'm going to pay a surveyor to go out there until this is approved, because otherwise, wow. Go ahead, sir. Part of the battle of getting this approved is having the exact measurements so we know so we can approve well, or thing, deny. This thing says he's 25 feet from the 30 yeah. to 25 feet. I from came the pretty close with the GIS mapping and stuff that you mm -hmm. can click on and, and do this and that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I laid that out when Harry and Sally came. Yeah. So but, I, I wouldn't be here unless I could hit this, the, the rear yard center. Oh, still. Yeah, but you've got to be a little more exact because if you're about 30, you know, you could be. I think the rear set back to 25 there because of the. It is. Yeah. I thought uh, Abby told me today it was 30 for on our notes. You need a 30 foot on the center rear commons thing. Yeah. Let me just see because she put a memo in here. Um, yeah. I agree with you. In addition, I also for if it got approved, I went for the two and then we get five. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. So you're, you're, you got the cart before the horse. Okay. You've got to have your dimensions down before you can get the variance because we can't grant you something in perpetuity that isn't correct. Okay, I'm looking for exactly a six foot variance. Right, but yeah. you have to have your But you don't have your measurements. But he's going to judge, adjust that once he finds the line. It would be up to him to make that yeah. call. Basically, and, you know, if we say no closer than six feet to the line, yes. Yeah. It's no his observation, and it's also up to the, the uh, yeah. town guy to go there and make sure that that's within six feet. The closer right. it gets to that that uh, north line, the further it gets from the septic system, the further it gets from the rear line. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is we don't know that your six foot line is accurate either. To be six foot, it will be very accurate uh, once I get it staked out. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I'm trying to argue yeah. at all. But I do have a, I did do a line there with the um, using the GIS maps and I and it got a lot better from what I was guessing. I thought the slab was only six feet off. The slab is actually like um, eleven feet off. So the slab is existing. I'm not sure of the accuracy of uh, I guess you have to be 30 feet from the rear property line. Yeah. Into this, this line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but again, to grant the variance, we have to know what we're granting. And to be about this and about that. I'm not looking for any about, sir. I'm looking for a six to be six yeah. feet off the property okay. line. Okay. Exactly how it was approved in 1986. Right. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. If this is 25, then it's going to have to be five more feet. Mm -hmm. so going to have to be careful there. Now what? If you move it closer to root the yeah. Because if your your back move the side is in the east, and to get to the thirty feet, you need to be there. Some force, some extra boost slice to get the back line. Yeah. Okay, so there's no mm. issue if I'm not looking for front and back here. I'm only mm. looking for six feet from the north side. Yeah. Okay. Central common. They mentioned when you were speaking about adding on to your neighbor's property and you live in a certain... No, when I that? met with Harry and Sally, their concern were that I was going to put stuff on their side and they would have to look at it with garbage cans and stuff mm -hmm. like that, which is a valid concern. Mm -hmm. But in, in my mind, if I was to put a shed up, a compliance shed, 20 feet, 
off the line. That way you could have 20 feet of potential junk there. Well, that's, we, we don't deal with junk here. No, I, okay. <laughs> I didn't so, know if I had a chance to yeah. address their concern. But, but I'm trying to figure out, you said something about, you mentioned some distance between their property and yours if there was something that was going to happen in the future. Oh, without that, regard to okay. All right. When I met with them, they had told me that there's a regulation if they wanted to change the use of their property that they needed to be X amount of feet from any building on my property. And I went to the, I went to the uh, building office and I mm -hmm. asked about that. And they said they don't know of any existing rule yeah. about that. That well, nothing to do with me. I was trying to address their Okay. So when I looked at it today, there's a row of trees. Mm -hmm. And isn't there a parking lot? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's the distance? Is the row of trees all on your property or their property? It's just about dead center. <clears throat> okay. Um, about on the line, wherever the line is. Yep. Mm -hmm. How close is that row of trees to the nearest building? Theirs or her? Theirs. Theirs? So yeah. They're heading building. north. I would say 60 feet. I would okay. Guess. Okay. That's, that's what I, I was curious. I, I was looking at the email that we got this afternoon, and it wasn't quite, oh, yeah, the email came in uh, mid-afternoon. Okay. It should be uh, in your packet. Um, and that addresses some of the issues that he's This letter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the record, I'm not again, they have valid concerns, that I want to address them, and I want to be a good human. So that's why I met with them yeah. the property. No, I'm just trying to narrow down. I understand what you're saying with six feet, 11 feet for the old one, whatever, and coming in that uh, um, all my questions for now. Tell us about, besides the easement, you said topography on the south side, right? Mm -hmm. So there is there is some room between your house and the south, and the easement on the south side. From my house to the easement, there's not enough room to, to build. I mean... Okay, so there's no room to go yeah. here. The only place would be over here. This is a huge gully that comes through. Do you know what approximate dimension there? Is that 30 feet? It's right off my bedroom. No, that's not 30 feet. It's 10 feet. It's less. Less than 10. Okay. It's less than 30, more than 10. Okay. And you want a 24 foot thing, so unless unless this is a potential, but then you're that's my septic system, right? Let's just see if we can get a lot. And my other challenge, I looked at that originally it was over here, yep. but then I had to be 24 feet off the next line. Here. So it's try and try and draw us your septic just put a little squiggly in there where you think it is. Okay. I mean, it's tank is right about there. Yeah. I've got a galley right there. And I think there's another pipe that goes out from the D box this way. And I don't know of any of them. It doesn't seem to be working. Mm -hmm. I had my septic license back in the day, so I did so. Well, it was a big jump from the numbers there. Okay. Roughly, what's going on? This one's 308, 306, I wonder why. Now I'm so looking the challenge is to maintain the 10 feet here. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to shift it that way. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you say that before. There's a 10-foot requirement off of the off the septic. Uh, the septic. The septic. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, when I was talking to the chairman, the further I can get the building this way, the further I can maintain this setback mm -hmm. here, and then be away from the septic system. I understand his concern, but you know, I, I have a fairly accurate 
of where this line is. But when I actually get it done by a surveyor, you know, a foot is going to make a difference to me. And, and, I can, and the leach field goes in what direction from the There's tank? a galley right here. Okay. As far as I know, there is just one active galley. There is a there's a D box here and it comes off the D box. Okay. And there's there's probably a galley or something, but it doesn't seem to be working because it's not taking Is there a reason it cannot it couldn't be here? Well, this is very steep. Oh there is there's contour there. Yep. That, that's very steep there also, but then I gotta maintain the twenty-five feet here. And then I'm on top of the septic system again. To be honest with you, I wanted to do it here because yeah. I could have tucked it right in and it would not. It would have looked better, and I could have made my backyard work better. Right. But because of that's why I'm here. So how steep? I guess I, this is a, this is where it gets a little tough. Did but you say you is it, but it would it require didn't. removal of. Um, this is a legitimate question. Yeah. I mean, we, we take into consideration contour of the land all the time, but I don't know if it's a gentle slope mm -hmm. that we would versus a, a steep slope. And I don't know how to get to bring any pictures. I have pictures of oh, where, where the garage is going, but the gentleman is talking about. Okay, that would have helped. Mm. Okay. Now I, I have another I have question. A septic system there, though. I have a galley in that area. Yeah. Oh, if, do, you, do you have another one there? If that's the case, then I definitely have a pipe that goes this way. Yep. Definitely. It's not on any asphalt, but I know there's a pipe there. I mean, I don't. Okay. I, I hate you to. Can, you, you can actually. What I did is when I repaired this, this you can see there's a green riser that comes up to clean this, and also my D box I brought to the surface also. So you can just go pop the cover off the D box and see a pipe going that way. It, it, it would be good if, if we knew there was a, a galley there, right? Well, you wouldn't put a pipe. I said this going to somewhere. Just, is there a plan that shows how that? I saw, I saw there was some septic stuff in the stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. That. So what am I looking at? There's the house. There's the back yes. of the house. This is the house. This is a drywall. This is the galley. There's a septic. There's a galley. Yeah. Okay. That I fixed, and there's another one over here. It must What's have permit. We don't know what you've been saying. Yeah, there we're, we're having sorry. trouble because we have. Yep. I yeah. wasn't expecting those questions. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, yeah. I thought it was going to be a no brainer because the guy asked for it the it's same just, in 1986. Okay, okay, that's okay. Yeah, but you got a new board, yeah. you got a lot of and new regulations. Just, so it doesn't get okay. that. Can I just ask you what you were saying over yeah, there? Yeah, can you show them? What I was trying to drive at is, can you yeah, shoot, yes, absolutely, shoehorn in the, the, the 24 by 24 yeah. between the septic and the house, sort of on the north. Okay. Oh, he was saying, why I put the, the garage in here? Right. It does go uphill here, but I also have a galley in this area. What is that? It's part of the septic system. Uh, I've got a septic too. I never heard that term. Okay. Well, because the Grand B, you have leaching fields. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have galleys. Oh, okay. Right? Galleys they use when you have very uh, soil that percolates very fast or sand. Okay. Because you don't need a lot of leaching area. Mm -hmm. When you have the fields, it doesn't need to didn't perk that good. So it okay. takes a lot more area to get rid of, rid of what's called the effluent from the okay. house. All right. Okay, we're sitting on sand, but I don't know anything about yeah. galleys. Okay. <laughs> I know leach fields in it. <laughs> now, uh, the question I have is, from the side of your house to the sideline on this map, it says 30 plus. <laughs> talking 30 feet? No, it's actually, it's 30 plus, because like I told you, on the, when I went on, on the GIS map, where you can map it all out, it came out to 36 plus every, and believe me, I was trying to be as accurate as yeah. possible. So it's really about 36, according okay, to Okay, so if this is 36 and you put it to this side, on the south side of the house. It's going to be right in their driveway. Okay. 
this so the driveway is not shown on this map. So well, that's what I was looking at. The yeah. So, here, sure what, um, what, so you don't really know exactly where the it's more than. So the house feet. is that three ten R in the it's, back? It is. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you went there, you're just like that's here. Where the, where is two driveways. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the right away is to the Probably right. The delivery the guy has a tough. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's. So I did see the house in the back. I didn't see the house in the back. I just saw this house. No, it's, it's tucked back, back in I there. Didn't see it's actually anything. down by the river. Oh, I didn't see anything but his house. Yeah. I didn't realize all this other stuff was his, too. All right. And then directly behind the house, you said? Septic. Septic. The septic system. But oh. behind and to the south is what I was talking okay. about. Okay. And obviously not in the front. Yeah, because of and, and I looked at trying to get it in here originally. Okay. But the, I have this, the same problem with the second one out there because of the main flat there. Yeah. No, that's what's the one. Okay. And I was originally going to search for it to be there because that would look better and I could do more of this before being in my backyard. Okay. What is this object of recovery? That's it's open property on this side, but this is where the topography is really steep, where it's oh. a, a gully with guns. Now, their driveway curls around and the house is back here? Or? Their driveway curls actually this way, their house. Oh, oh, oh it's back there. Oh, oh. Okay. So it's closer. Okay. Right. We're starting to get a better picture here. Of. So, in essence, this is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the tank is actually Okay. Why do we have this? There's a galley here All right. and there's a galley right there. Okay, so. So this is your land here? According to this thing, this well drilling, because that must, must have been your well. That, that, that's, that's what the uh, neighbors brought in. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's, that's your well. Yeah. Yeah, the well is that she's right here. Yeah. Not existing, but only connected to the town. Okay. So that would come out the front, obviously. Uh -huh. So the water line. Okay. Yeah, the water, if, if it's important, goes right here, pretty much yeah. straight up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can't build over the easement and you can't build behind. And if you put it here, that's the topography. You're going to Is this going to be a regular garage looking thing? Or yes. Are you going to use it for a garage at all? It's going to be, I will use it for a garage to, to uh, work on my vehicle and so on, but it's going to be a storage for my tools. That's a good point. You want to finish this was the property line, and this was the, this is where felt the variance. It'll be flat with the land? It doesn't have a six. It's going to be pretty much what they're now. There's a concrete slab that will be about the same height as that. This okay. But I'm actually going to store them on here. Still six feet from this. So that I can use the bottom so for storage. So I'm not looking at all my stuff. She So it would be less of an impact to the land also. Mm -hmm. Well, how tall is the, pad, uh, the slab? How is the slab on the ground? I know, but if you said you're building at the same height of that, how much could you have underneath to use? Couple feet by the slab and maybe four feet at the back. Well, I mean, high. Do you mean high? Do you mean high? Sorry, I'm not sure. Well, if you're if you're if you're ever going to put a car in there, you'd have to be able to drive it in. So I don't know if there's. I can see. So is the garage not going to be flat? There's it falls off in the back so that there's. The garage will be flat. Yep. Level, but because of the land drops off there so the further you go back the more space will be underneath oh. is that what you're asking yep mm -hmm. yep okay. i'm trying to figure that out wait i have a question just yeah. as far as Give this the back. variance that was done and the intent that it was done in the 1986 yeah it says that they can build a structure up to six feet from the sideline thank you right does it there's no other requirement other than existing offsets to put a building in, isn't that correct? 
So just so long as they are within the rear line and away from any other yeah. committed space, like from septics and wells and wetlands or whatever, that should all still hold, right? Well, it depends. Um, because we've used we've used no closer than right, right. Often, yeah. But what I think the issue, pardon me, the issue is that even though they had a variance granted back then, mm -hmm. they never did anything with it. But so if they that doesn't that doesn't negate the variance. It, well, it will if they don't use it. Um, because right. if and it expires, you have to file it with the town. When does it expire? So, so, well, so long as you filed, it was still hidden, wasn't it? It said if we grant your variant, be sure to record it with the town clerk within 90 days. Yeah. And if you don't, it's so you're doesn't saying, exist. So you're saying it wasn't recorded? And no. I don't know. If well, it there's, there's probably wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I was say. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Is that what sufficed? Um, by the Grand that that's thing. by the Granby Building Department. Department yeah. These are the so minutes. that's not the town clerk. These are the minutes. I don't know. Uh, yeah. These are just the minutes. What happens is when we grant or deny a variance, I get uh, an email when I go over to the police station, mm -hmm. read it, sign off. Then it gets sent to the applicant, who then has to deal with it and bring it and to the paper. Yeah, the town. put it on the deed. Okay. So. If, and it's not on the deed now? Is that what we're being told? Uh, this I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it, if it was filed. Well, regardless, it's, it's another application. But, just, like but, if, it, but a, if it was filed, mm -hmm. it would be an active variance that lives with the property for right. perpetuity. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. But it's just like when we the uh, Peterson Road or Pedersen off Route 10. Mm -hmm. Well, we had the guy that we had granted one before because of the drop off in the back of the property. We had to do another one because he wanted to do something else. Yeah, so that, that I understand, but yeah. this one was, it was specifically to build a garage. Right. No more than six feet from the sideline. Right. And I, I'm just having difficulty with that not being valid for what he's trying to do it, so long as all the other regulations right. are well, being not being it, violated. I would say it's indication that obviously they, unless there's been major construction on the land or earth moving, that it's probably still, still valid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can but he needs to do the one for 2019. But it's you know not necessarily precedent, but it says mm. you know. Mm. Well, his position is that it still exists and he doesn't even have to apply for it. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, what, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I, that's my gut feeling. That's what I was going to you know, Had yeah. they built it in, and I bought the property. Right, he would have had it. Yeah. There, there, there it is. But, right. yeah. You know, for all you know, they built it and tore it down because it was a lousy job right. or something like that. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know, I mean, but the... Uh, I can't say whether it's that way or not, but... Yeah. The, the difference is, if you look at the size of the slab, it was 14 by, looks like 14 by 20. He wants 24 by 24. That's why. But that's not violating any code. The slab no. is there. Yeah, it's there. It's not violating no, any no. sideline requirements. No, no, I, other I, than I, I'm not saying there. it is. I'm just saying. And you don't need a variance to build a 24 by 24 garage. He does because no, he's just saying. Yeah, he's. I mean, if it was all within the the, the yeah. property line, it's and there was no bad. encroachments anywhere. Yeah, you wouldn't need a permit to build a twenty. But I mean, a that was the same thing when I mentioned Abby about the one in Patterson. No, it's a new application is needed because it doesn't cover the entire area of the sideline. So you just disagree with that, Bob? You yeah. did hear that? Yeah. Disagree. Yeah. I don't know. That's not my understanding. It's never been my understanding about yeah. the existence. I mean, we've said, we've done the houses where, you know, no closer than seven feet, but we don't say right. how far from the corner, unless we're setting a precedence, and that's something yeah. that we're going to have to do from now on. Well, usually, when they come in with an application, they have a set place they're yeah, putting it. Sometimes in. they do, sometimes they yeah. don't. I mean, look at the pools and things we put yeah. up. But again, what all I'm saying is the last time we had this issue, I asked the same question you did. Mm -hmm. Why did we need one? And she said, because it's a new application for a new part of the line. It's only good for that area where they granted it for. Have you ever seen where they specify that? 
in a motion, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, would, that would suggest that when we give a motion that we have to say, and this only applies to this, right. to 24 this, feet or whatever from yeah. the back line. Which we've to, never done in the past, at least as in the many years that I've been here. Unless you yeah. refer to a drawing. In yeah, case. well, that, that's if what we usually do. If you refer to a drawing, then that's kind of different. Right? Yeah. Then you are being specific about what yeah. the difference it's specific because there's, as there's drawings and there's as -bills. True. Yeah. But, so. you know. I don't know if that's right or not, but it is yeah, a way to specify mm. in, a, in a motion where the building is supposed to appear. Mm. I think uh, the last motion, or our last meeting, you made the motion saying as per the drawings that we were given in, in your motion. The one on um, Geisler's. Geisler's. Yeah. If that's important, we should do it consistently, because I'm, I'm yeah. sure I've made motions where I didn't say that. <coughs> I think it all comes out the same job. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really changes anything. I just want to ask what you're talking about. Are you saying that when you say the six feet, that it's only the 24 feet that he, where he's what, wanting to put it, that's so what, it's not... That's what he's alluding to. That's what you're yeah. saying? Where me, if it's not specified, you know, he could put it six feet anywhere along the side. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the size of what you're just saying. You're just, 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 you're just yeah. six feet. You're just, that you're just, we're just, we're yeah, saying you're you just building can't, six feet. You, could put it you know, we could say six along. feet next to the slab or something. Right. Attached to the slab for right. instance, but mm -hmm. that could be on either side. Yeah. But we know we can't go any farther back than 30 feet because right. of the Well, yeah, right. because then you get an right. encroachment yeah. from another thing. And that, right. that was my point. Exactly. So long as he's not encroaching on any other dimensional variation. Well, would that be would that make sense for them to ask for a variance off the? I guess the septic is going to get in the way of that. He, he can't. Why? Why can't he ask for a variance of that point five feet? I'm, I'm, it, unless the answer is the septic. Well, yeah, because he's got the yeah. Oh, and the and the gallon, yeah, the gallon, yeah, sure. <clears throat> I don't know. That's just my philosophy, and I don't, yeah. I don't know what, if that's correct or not. I mean, it just seems odd to me that you get one. And every time we've been giving variances, we always specifically state it goes with the property and not with the owner. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. And, and, Abby, and Abby didn't make any reference to the fact that they hadn't filed. She seems to be making a case that because there was no documentation showing where the exact location of the approved garage was, she's unable to make right. a blanket statement about it. And that would, be, the next time. that would be addended to the D. Yeah. That's sure. twice. And as far as being registered, the secretary signed this, mm -hmm. and it's got the town stamp. I would yeah. acknowledge the donuts. It's recorded. It's recorded. Except that's just the minutes. It sure looks stamped. like it. Right. That's the only thing you're yeah. looking at. How, how are we feeling about it? I mean, do we even need to have this conversation? Are we moving towards well, let's we have to hear from other people. I yeah, right, exactly. Let's do that. But, uh, yeah. Now, do you have any other evidence to give us or anything else to add at this time? No, just what I presented so far. Thank you. Okay. Just one question. Is there a lot of extraneous stuff on your property at the moment? Um, you know, because that was one of the concerns that they're bringing up, that if you have that garage, there's going to be a lot of stuff behind it hidden from other views. So I it, guess I'm just looking, my goal looking to for us. The stuff that's outside now to put it inside. No, no granted, I, we just moved in um, two years ago in, or a year and a half ago. Uh, and uh, we're under construction, need a lot of work. So I have a dumpster there, and, and you know, things are going on. But it, it is my goal to keep a very tidy yard. And you know, funny thing is, my wife, <laughs> she's a lot worse than any neighbor <laughs> about <laughs> keeping the yard clean. And I, it, but we all been through that. But that's my, my goal is to get the garage up so I can be more clean, more organized. <laughs> I'm a little spread out right now. Mm -hmm. But thank you. Okay. Now, is there anybody here that would like to speak for or against the application? Would you come up with a... Good evening. Good evening. My name is Sally. Hi, card. My address is 20 Coppergate in East Granby, uh, Connecticut. And um, my husband and I are uh, 
owners of 318 Salmon Brook Street, which is um, the patch, currently the, known as the Patchwork Schoolhouse. Uh, we, today I came to the town. Abby asked me to bring each of you um, I, a presentation packet. Did you all receive it? Okay. All right. Good. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of review this for you. Uh, we purchased 318 Salmon Brook Street in 1988 to house an early learning center, um, which was my uh, my school called Bells and Bows. And it was uh, serving infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and school-age children, and that is what it's still doing today. Um, last week when I was over at the center, I'm their educational consultant and I'm still involved with education. Um, the director of Patchwork Schoolhouse had a, told me a letter had been sent to her uh, by the town and um, she couldn't find it, but um, that it had come through. So we contacted Bill here at the town hall and he was able to give us a copy. Um, we immediately contacted the um, applicant, met with him to discuss why he needed a variance, and upon further investigation, uh, several concerns became apparent. Uh, number one, we felt that his um, application appears to be incorrect. He's asking for a 14-foot variance when it is, should be, in fact, an 18-foot variance which is required based on the longest uh, linear dimension of the building he's asking for, which is 24 feet. He's, his stated reason for his request is, quote, other areas of the property are unable due to septic system and drainage gully. Um, the gully appears to be also on the north side of the lot as well as one uh, on the south side. The septic system is behind the house, and I gave you an exhibit that I got um, showing where, his, where the, the house is and the septic um, system uh, dimensions there. Then in terms of the, the uh, well is abandoned in the front of the house and, on, and exhibit two, and neither of these would impact a building on the south side um, of his lot. And the exhibit two shows you the location of the well um, and where it, where it currently are, um, is located. On numerous surveys and plot plans on file in the town, it appears that the applicant has adequate property on the south side of his lot with frontage on Salmon Brook Street to erect this 24 by 24 building. See exhibit three and three A. And I put two, um, the first one, exhibit three, shows uh, the location of his building, where the septic is, the well, and then all of this uh, white area over here where um, he has an acre, over an acre and a half of property. And within that acre and a half, there's certainly room other than squeezing this um, structure over um, against the, the, um, the, the line would be more appropriate. Uh, during the, the meeting, um, that w w he shared with us that he wanted the structure for storage. The structure was to be on piles so that he could store materials and supplies underneath as well as inside, and the structure would have vertical siding to look barn-like. The applicant showed us a Google Earth map of the property of which he used to determine the boundaries. We believe that any property lines used for a variance should be established by a uh, licensed surveyor. And we are really concerned that the area in and around the building will be an attractive nuisance. The children, they, our property being an early learning center, the entire property is used by the children. And it's not just, if you drive by uh, the schoolhouse, you'll see that, that there's uh, several fenced-in areas and um, the children are 
their play structures and things like that are there. But in the summertime and beautiful fall days and so on, they bring their, their uh, tricycles, bicycles, everything to the, the, the parents supply them and bring them to the center. And they use the entire uh, parking lot area. It's coned off and everything. Um, so the entire property, including over near where the, the tree line is, is used by uh, the children. Um, that are, uh, of course, under supervision, but uh, you know children, they can run. Uh, and, and, um, and so we're really concerned um, that the building will become an attractive nuisance. We know, as all of us have, and including myself, we all have garages and barns in our neighborhood with items stored next to the structure, such as ladders, lumber, pipe, garbage cans, fuel containers that need to be left outside for proper ventilation and so on. Um, the, Mr. Cooper, who was the previous owner and owned the property when we purchased um, 318 Salmon Brook Street, uh, I believe that, that the reason that that structure that um, uh, Chris was talking about was not built was because he was running an illegal business there. The illegal business was one of repairing used vehicles and then putting them out in front of his property and selling them. And this went on and on and on and numerous complaints. If you go to the town records, you will see that numerous complaints were filed against him and he was ordered numerous times to um, desist. And, um, and so I believe that is, is why that particular, um, the, the 1986 pad um, was, um, or, or whatever the permit was for, was not built, but there is a pad there. Um, Mr. Cooper, the previous owner, ran a legal car repair and sales business on the property. Um, open drums of unknown substances were left located in the area of the proposed building were removed by the foreclosure company uh, due to concern of contamination and concern for the children. And we are asking the board, based on the amount of available, available property, to have the structure erected consistent with the current zoning uh, requirements and to deny the request for a variance of 18 feet on the north side where the space is so limited and is close to, um, very, very close to where children are um, engaged in, in their activities. Um, the daycare center was there, obviously. Chris knew it was there when we when he purchased the property. Um, and my, my basic concern is uh, for the children and the fact that, um, that, that it could be, become an attractive nuisance. And also uh, that Chris, I'm sure, will keep it neat, but he could sell the property tomorrow and the next guy would uh, not be um, keeping it as, as precise. I have a, um, I gave you one survey there, but I didn't have the means on my home to, to duplicate this. So I'd like to present it to you, um, this particular uh, plot plan that shows. In the middle here. Here. This was done by Henry Cotton. And, and this is See um, the the Cooper property here. Um, this is all. This is our property. This is all the applicant's property. The acre and a half. And there's all this space here that um, you know there may be a, a, a need for for some backfilling. But why the building could not be um, erected somewhere over here? The drive, the, the, there's a drive here that could be access that it could go over and access this property. And I think it would be to his advantage to build over in this area because, as we all know, things expand. His business could expand, and over here where it's so tight to the line, it's within six feet um, over here, that there would be allowed, you know, room to expand. But whereas if he took advantage of his property and, and, and did it, did erected the structure here, you know, then he could add on to it at some point. Because I know as business, business grows, um, that's what happens. You need more space.
and that way it would be away from from the, the, um, the structure over here. Uh, there's a building here that's a spa, and they and their parking lot is here, so it wouldn't really impact them. It would not impact the the, the bank here, the children over here. It would you know give him privacy, his wife privacy around their home. Um, she wouldn't have to deal with it, and I think it would be a win-win situation for everybody. See, when I look at this map, this line here looks like that one this line here. Isn't that the line right there? I, I don't know. Where? Yeah. Right here. This looks like yes. it's a property line. So this is one property. This would be another property. Right. So yeah. you're talking about. No, but he has it all the way down. Yeah, but he owns all of this. Yeah. Yeah. He, okay. he has two lots. One's an easement for the driveway, the other's for the... Okay. The driveway's on it, you can see. Yeah, there's the driveway. The other is a pole line from Helco. Which is also on it. That's the right. I saw it. Henry put everything on here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see, that's okay. that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's upside down and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and this, in your mind, is this a big going to... I, I'm, I've been doing it past that in quite a long time. No. Um, it's it's not to easy to get a sense because I, I, I drove by it twice mm -hmm. today. Yeah, it's, it's like from the end of there to over there. Um, not this, it's not as wide as this whole thing here. And I, would, I wouldn't say I'm it's going to succeed. Okay. Is that, and you can see it from the bow. That set that. Yeah. That part that she was talking about. Yeah, and over on this side, there's a gully as well. But like once you get past it, the um, tree line here is not down significantly. So it's at the back of the tree line, because that's quite a line of trees. Yeah. They're nice old trees. Yeah, and, and it's a good visual for the children. And well, it's going to take them down feet. some of the trees mm -hmm. and um, you know, get this building in there. Yeah. I think this is, I'm sure this is on file with the town. And this is the, this is the most recent survey. Uh, the yeah, one that was, by the town right there. Yeah. The stand. Yeah. Yep. And can you read the date? Oh, here it's 91. Okay. Yeah. And the, and the one that uh, Chris gave you, I think it's 83 Yeah, it's July 17th. 19. 19 and whatever that is. But here it's July yeah. 17th, 91. Seventy-two. Seventy-two is one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one is much older. older. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The applicant submitted a much older right. one. So this is it has been carpet. resurveyed at some point. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe with the foreclosure or something like that. Do you just want to take a note so you'll know where, if you need to refer to this again or? Oh, uh, that's your only? Yeah, it's my only copy. Um, July 17th, 1991. July 9th, 1991 is... is All right, well, this is Henry received for record. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you need the date. If you need to research it, it'll be much quicker. Yeah, so this know. is the date that, that we can assume this is going to... Uh, and the date of record... Uh, July 17th. 17th. Okay, 1991. Yes. I mean, I'll be glad to leave this with you, but I would like it now. Oh, that's good. Probably <laughs> need to hang on to it. Okay. Well, you can just call me up, you know. Okay. One of the points you made was you said the request for the variance was 18. Or it was uh, 14. It should be 18. Yeah, 18. Well, right. I have 18 on my application. Yeah. That's why I've been amended at some point in between. Okay. So you never sent me a amended copy. Uh, uh, but I, did, I was the one that called Abby and said I think this is a mistake that's been made. And she said yes. Okay. Yeah. And ours doesn't. Ours, yeah. goes, ours is the yeah. original one. Oh, it has that, been fixed. Um, he he yeah. submitted it. Mm. Right. It has been fixed, yeah. So I think that, you know, I think now that. that the record's corrupt. Mm -hmm.
And I also, um, when I gave um, Abby a copy, original copy, I gave each of you a copy and I gave her an original. Oh, well, uh, of the, my, the presentation. The letter? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we have. Yeah. That's in the package here. Yeah. 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 So if you were looking for two copies, I just wanted you to know I think mm -hmm. I gave her an extra, you know, right. original signed copy. That's got to be yours. So that's, that's this easy document. document. This document. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which up there says, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, that's just, original. They just yeah. Read it. yeah, okay. For use to put together over there so we can pick it up. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. There's anything on the other questions? Think of anything. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, your turn. Mm -hmm. um, I want to address what, what Sally said. Um, yes, on paper, that looks good on paper, you could put a garage on the south side. But the same reason they got the variance in 1986 because of the topography, you just can't do it very effectively. And what I also want to end, I, the kids are a concern of mine next door. I love listening to the kids. Sally had mentioned that I'm going to take down some of the beautiful trees there. But I did bring some pictures of where I want to put the garage. And there's a um, the garage, in order for the kids to get to the garage, they'd have to go across the gully. You will see there's some pink ribbon here. Those are the dead trees or pine trees that I want to take down. I do not want to remove that beautiful tree line. It's at the rear of the property. But uh, as for the kids and their safety, I, I think they're, I don't know how the garage would make it dangerous for them, especially because the garage is towards the back of the property and it's going to be a lot lower than their property. When you look at those pictures, there is a gully there that the kids would have to go through to get to. And if anything, the garage is going to make it more safe because it will take a little bit of that gully away. So as I'm facing your property, because I stopped in front of it today, oh, cool. I drove okay. by and then I came by later and stopped. Wait, pull in. <laughs> and there's that line of trees and the gully is north of the trees. The gully is, unless you pulled down the driveway, you would not have seen it. Right, it's not visible from the road. You follow those, that beautiful tree line down, and when, when that beautiful tree line starts to get sporadic, uh, that's when it drops off. That's what it looks, quickly. yeah. And those trees that are marked there, those are the, the dead and are dying, which would aid to the safety of the neighbors, mm -hmm. so they're not going to fall on the neighbors. But is so is your garage going to be down in this gully or partially in the gully? Okay, the garage, this white state, that's, oh, okay. that is the property line. Oh, okay. okay. The garage would be a go out from here across oh. this way. So you can see how it goes up here. This is their property over here. You said this is the property line to right. stay. And that the garage would come over here. And is this, yeah, you can just barely make out the beautiful tree line up there. Obviously, I don't know. Is this the slab? Yeah, yeah, that's my question. Is this the existing the slab? slab? Yeah. So you're going to build, oh. your, your intent is so to build around. from the start of this land back 24 feet. Yeah. Pretty much. And this, you said this stake? Yeah. Is that on the yeah. other yeah. side of that tree? It, it looks like it's in front. Okay. okay. So. Okay. So yeah, that's why I got it. If you want to flip and then it, just, just, just real quick, is the, the property line is kind of going like this? The property line goes like this. Okay, like this. Okay. okay so, so this I'm is almost per, this is almost perpendicular to yes. the side. Yeah. Okay. So that here. Yeah. Oh, you're going to level this out a little bit. Yes, it's a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I play one on the TV. <laughs> okay, good question. Is this tree coming down? Uh, it's not marked, but I am going to take that. One. Oh, it yes. looks okay. like it's right that's in the that's way. A big, ugly pine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Well, looking at this gully, which is near where you want to put your garage. Mm -hmm. How big is this compared to the gully on the south side that you're talking about? 
it's uh, minimal compared to that. I'm not going into building with the garage. It's just about where you see the trees is about where the garage would start. But I'm asking on the south side of the property, just for reference, you mentioned topography there and there was a gully. Okay, the gully. How does it compare to this? It's not, it's more like a gorge. If, we're gonna, if you want to go by edge, it's more like a gorge than a gully. So but it's, it's, it's bigger. bigger. Yeah, it's, it's more steep. Right on the other side, because nobody can do it. It's all feet. The topographic map would have been great. Yeah. Um, okay. But I also thought yeah. it was going to be easy because I thought I really thought I was going to come here and be grandfathered in because it was already really red. I really yeah. thought this was just red tape. Well, and that's okay. That is yeah. kind of, uh, we to look there I would have been, I would have been better with that. Mm. With the, mm. We have brought the topography. We would have solved why the. You could always table and come back. Well, that's what I'm. Well, that's, that's what I'm leaning toward. Yeah, if you want to get such, we have a lot of. Yeah, I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> and no, I yeah. understand the, the benefits of tabling it. But let me ask you this also: If I go to the town and it was filed, we don't have to meet again. I don't think that I disagree with that. Okay. Okay. I'm asking. It was a question. It wasn't. Yeah. No. No. I, I. I don't know that it's. A, no. I. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Right. Yeah. Expert. But. Uh, <laughs> Any of us know what. No. For, but based on a prior application, very similar, just down the same property line, it was. Uh, Abby told me there had to be a new application. You're not grandfathered based on that. It's a. It's a whole new thing. Okay, even though it was a garage, yours is a little different because it was for a garage the first time and you're asking a garage the second. The only difference I see is your garage is bigger. So and that's all the distinction I'm making. But uh, um, okay. well, if, if, if I were to table it and bring back the topography, what, what professional engineer or whatever is going to tell you what's buildable and what's not buildable if you if you do it based on box security, which you follow yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I've been building for 37 years. Yeah. And I'll tell you flat out, there is no piece of property that's unbuildable. That was gonna say that. Okay. Depending I can, on how deep your pocket is. I can truly is. build you a house in the middle of the reservoir. Right. Mm -hmm. I really could do that. I know yeah. how to do it, so it's wicked expensive. But at what point, because I've done dams, I mean, I've, and, and all that stuff. But at what point does it? Is it the topography? You know, is is it a two to one slope? Is it a three to one slope? Is it four to one? Is it one thousand yards of fill? Is it two thousand yards of fill? Because if you go and stand there, you will course. see the gully. And then what makes my gully different than than a person who's going to meet next month? Because I understand you've already set precedent by talking about topography. I don't mean to make it difficult, and no. I will table it definitely because I will obviously want to get approved. But and it might it's... ease some of the concern about the exactness of the property line. You might have an opportunity to just shoot that line on the document or something like that. I know you don't want to. I just want to be six feet off the yeah. line. Yeah. That's that's what I'm asking for. But we have a, a more recent document by a surveyor showing property lines which was 1991 versus 1972 or three okay and in all fairness what difference does a date make I'm going to be six feet well off the property line whether yeah, it was a, whether yeah, it's, well, we I just do it tomorrow or it was done a hundred years yeah, ago I'm still yeah, six should feet be. off the property yeah. Yeah. right but that map was a lot more detailed than the one that you gave us. And that was my error. Like I said, mm -hmm. I was, this was red tape. Yeah. So, with that said, I, I would like to table. Okay. All right, I can bring back and it will give you guys time to come out and see the gully. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'd be more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, yes. I think we have too many. For, so that we can do the right thing. Yeah. I think that would give us an opportunity. And then also, yeah, I'm not going to tell you business, but you, you, you guys need to come up with what is bad topography, what is good. Mm -hmm.
I, I need a better sense of what we can do and also what we actually need to do. And it may not be anything. But I'd like to be confident when I vote that that's the real deal. Yeah, and I'm with you too, because believe me, I've been to these a lot, especially the historical society and stuff, mm -hmm. and you do have precedent. And I don't want to go back and say the precedents are what you voted and approved before, because I have a legitimate claim. I don't have to say that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, well, even in that, those aren't precedents. Those are just ad hoc determinations every time we have an application. So if we fall back to them, whether legally or otherwise, they're, they're not really binding on anybody. Mr. Chairman, I'm not going in that direction. No, no, I'm just saying. I, I should see, see all the arguments. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this a long time. But, yeah. But I think, look, in definitely pictures, right? Yeah. Not sure. pictures. Yeah. Uh, garage design? Do we want to? Yeah. No. No? no. I don't think you need that. No. Nope. Okay. Just if you could maybe stake out where you want where you think yeah. it's going to be. I can stake that out, and I can do my own topography on, on the, the Gulf because yeah. I can't do that. Hmm. I think it just would make us feel better about the, the decision. There's, there's a lot of questions <laughs> with no definitive no, answers. I'm fine with that. I understand what your position is, but I would, I would invite you all to drive down the center driveway and yeah. out walk around the back where yeah. you're proposing the garage and look up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll see the 12 feet. Well, let, let me ask you this. Uh, your neighbor got a letter, and we haven't heard from your neighbor, but that had to do with the garage not being on the south side, but on the north side. He has no problem with it. I mean, and I've talked to everybody. I know, but we don't know that. We don't have We any. accept you at your word. But if you're one of the suggestions that the cards made was using that driveway that's the right of way and taking a right, and how your neighbor would feel if you put the garage there, mm -hmm. they may have a whole other view if you're doing it there in front of their house and using their driveway or their, you know. Yep. Right. So that, that would be uh, um, benefit. Yeah. For your side of the story. Understood. Yeah, just process to, a tea. Process yeah, a tea. just try and. Yeah, and, and, and for the record, I'm not against you guys at all. I, I, I get up, you know, I'm trying yeah. to help however I can. So, yes, anything else here? Um, yes, I, I would like to add that in uh, 1986, when that, uh, the preliminary pad was um, um, grandfathered in or whatever you want to say, there was no daycare center. It was a church that was only used on, on weekends, and there were um, infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and school-age yeah. children um, running um, along that area and using that, um, mm -hmm. you know, five days a week. So um, that was not even a consideration when mm -hmm. that was granted. So this is yeah. a whole different plan now, here. on your parking lot, yes. between your property and his property, there is no fence, right? No, no. right. There's a, there's a, there's a tree, the tree line. Just the tree line. Yeah. That's going on. Yeah. The, the six feet variance has to include the eave drip lines, just so you know. Yeah. When's the best time for us to come and be able to use your parking lot if we wanted to look at the site? Because that's a good place for us to pull in, right? But we don't want to do it, obviously, when yeah, there's the kids um, around. The, the, probably the thing now between like one and two. Well, we can. My yeah. best suggestion would be to call the director and ask that ask her. Her name, her name is Nancy is it, or Noah. Is it open on the weekends? No. Because most closed. of us work. Yeah. 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 So That's the I would just assume. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not coming during the week myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Come so the weekends, no problem. But if you'd like to come during the time, yeah. just call mm -hmm. and, and see. But I know their nap time is in the afternoon. Right. Thanks. So Thank you. Okay. And do we need to call you if we want to come around and tromp around on your property? No, just bring a white flag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so if, if that didn't work out for you, that property, there, there is a spot. Actually, my, uh, my stepdaughter's car is for sale out front. You can park out there because all the no parking signs got run over. That's a whole other <laughs> issue with the, you know, with the school. It's actually a funny one. But you can pull right on my property. We're not. Wait. Okay. All right. Now, uh, just we still have people out here. 
that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so is there anyone else here who would like to speak for or against this application? Okay, do, do I have a, uh, technically the applicant has made a motion himself to ask for um, <laughs> you need to no, I, I, don't, I, don't I know well, that we table this yeah. matter until the next before, meeting. Before we second that, yeah. are we going to be able to, are we going to discuss tonight or is the meeting going to be closed as soon as we did? Well, the meeting isn't closed, but the public session is closed. Yeah, the public session, yeah. but I don't think we can do a discussion. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't think it's wise to do that. Okay. okay. And should, we should probably also say that when we do go, we shouldn't discuss with exactly. these guys. No, they right. If we have an illegal meeting. Oh, come on here for dinner. Nice and great. Is the menu we want? Okay. <laughs> no, I think we know your allergies. Leave it in here until the next meeting. Right. right. And. Uh, uh, so I, yeah, I think that's the safest way because we don't have the video on. Uh, yeah, well, we do have the video on now. Can you but, um, maybe just find? Or is there a way to find out if there's any um, precedence that? Yeah, uh, I, I was going to do that. Okay, that, I would appreciate that. Okay, just because I'm, I'm ignorant as far as yeah. how it goes. Now, uh, you're all set, though, with your answer. Yeah, thank you. Okay, do we have a second? Yeah, okay. second. Second five. I mean, whatever. Do you have a, any discussion on that? No. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No, no abstentions. And. For now, we'll close this part of the meeting at 8.10 p.m. and reschedule for the third Tuesday of February. Thank you. That's where answer my question. Okay. Yeah. I don't have it right in front of me. Do I have to, do I have to reapply? Uh, no. No. No, I guess a lot of times, let me just see if I have a date here. Your phone. <laughs> I usually have to get my meeting scheduled in. And, oh well. Uh, Quite handy. So, yeah, third. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is. 19. 19. Sorry, yeah, the, third, okay. the third Tuesday, right? Right. The 19th. Yep. Yeah, until so 19. 7 o'clock. And that's not a state or federal holiday, so. We definitely can have a meeting that night. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for hearing me. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Testimonies. Can, we can I hit the button? Yes. <laughs> oh, um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, we rescheduled. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? So oh, moved. Man. Okay. Second. Second. Judy? <laughs> Okay, all in favor? I'm good, it said aye. Aye, aye. Any opposed? No, no abstentions. Okay.